Hey, you're tuned into TCDCmedia.com. I'm Dan Cox, and I'm here with Nate Bruce. Russ? Bruce, how you say it's Bruce. Bruce? All right, well, it depends. It depends on... My family says Bruce, but I don't know. What, they say Bruce? Yeah. Like, with an H at the end? Yeah. Well, clarify, what's the proper way to say it? My proper way to say it is Bruce. Bruce. Okay. Um, now on this tour, you guys uh, premiered a new song. It's called What the Fuck. It might be is, it, is it what the fuck or WTF? Because I see on YouTube it's WTF. I hear people say what the fuck. Yeah, no, but I, that's what I'm saying. I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, um, I, I'm not good with titles. Oh. So if it's, it's one of those, uh -huh. maybe. Maybe I'll find like a, just another lyric in the song and I'll that. Yeah, my friend called me up. He's like, hey, did you hear that new fun song? It's called What the Fuck. I'm like, you're messing with me. And then I looked it up and it's. Sure enough. Um, is that an, a song that we could hope to see on an album in the future? Well, see, I'm still. I, I like spent all summer writing. Um, it's the first one that the guys have heard, um, and it's still probably the only one they've heard. I, I still have a whole bunch of stuff to play with like, everybody. I really like that song. Um, the way we're playing it right now is in such a basic, like, rock form. You know, because when we go into the studio, we usually just spend so much time working on songs, adding things like strings and illustration or whatever uh, to the song. So, so um, if it can pass that type of test, then yeah, I'll make the record. Mm -hmm. uh, for rumors' sake, when do you think the album is going to be out? Uh, the new one. Uh, like this time next year. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's awesome. I know a lot of people are excited for it. Uh, hopefully earlier than that. Uh -huh. I, 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 like I, fun, right? I had deadlines to make. Do you? you know? Yeah, you just signed with uh, Feel By Ramen. Yeah. And uh, that, that sort of, that's been rumored for a long time. It took a while to announce it. Um, how'd you get hooked up with them? Uh, they had tried to sign me since I was 19 years old. Really? So for nine years, uh, they've been trying. And I Spotting no way. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, we just decided to go with the format. We went in a different route, um, and then with fun, um, no one really believed in us except for our management company, and, and they released Damon Ignite, um, and so that happened. And then suddenly there were many more people who wanted to talk to us in the bathroom. There's a fly. Yeah. Um, there are many, many other people that want to talk to us, but uh, but the people from Feel by Ramen, um, like they've been here every every single record that I've ever been a part of. They've emailed whoever just to say like, how can we be a part of this? Mm -hmm. um, and it felt like the right time, and, and it took nine months to to get it right, just because I've been on a major label before, and I know how daunting that can be. So it, it took forever to get it right, but but eventually we all agreed on it and we're one big happy family now, I guess. If you had to cover one uh, song for the rest of your career on stage every night, what song would it be? <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to go with... I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's like six. Oh, I thought there was just one. Maybe it, like, <laughs> unless your hand was big enough. Um, Oh my gosh. Um, Queen of the Slipstream by Van Morrison. Any reason? I don't know if, like, whatever recording I have, I can't tell if it's a live version or not. Mm -hmm. But it's just so perfect. Like, um, and that's that's what's so great about it. Is it kind of feels like it's live. Like, you've got, like, the backup singers, and, and there's, like, a harp going through the whole song and it would just be one of those type of things like live where you, you for at least a moment you could feel like Ed Morrison and that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Now I noticed that you guys sound has sort of like a Broadway influence to it. It sounds really big and like theatrical. Um, would you ever do something like what Green Day did with Broadway? <laughs> if you had the opportunity? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. um, people have talked to me about it. Uh, as long as I don't have to write anything other than just like the songs. I don't like to do any extra curricular stuff when it comes to being no acting. a musician. No, that. Um, no, none of that. <laughs> like, no acting. <clears throat> they asked me to like, write the storyline or something like that. I, I couldn't do that. I, I'm like really poor at anything other than video games <laughs> and like being able to get out of bed to do this every day. <laughs> You have tape on your shoes. Can you show that? Can you show that? What? <laughs> I'm 
sorry, I just had to... Yeah, is there so something you want to know? Yeah, why, why is there tape on your shoes? This is the only pair of shoes, um... I thought it would be really sweet, and not, like, misogynist, if my girlfriend packed for me. <laughs> and she packed, she packed one pair of shoes. One pair of shoes, but no 2K sports. No 2K sports. I was like, you know what, whatever's in my closet that you think I should wear, like, go ahead and... Can you say hi? Go ahead and do that. Um, Love you, Father. <laughs> it was my birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. Thanks, man. I turned 18. You're an Aquarius? No, I'm a Libra. I threw that out. I've always been. I've never had any idea. Yeah, so, like, my shoes are almost off, and I, I haven't had a chance to buy new kicks. Oh, I did. I actually bought new running shoes. Once again, sport over art. I watch Zoom all day. I like, like I'm almost through Lost. I watch. Uh, I have a Netflix disc, and I watch like every episode of the King of the Hill in a row. In, in a row. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's right. what I do with Lost. I, I that's that's another problem with writing is then you discover Lost. I started Lost. I had a solid month where I was like, you know what? It's time to write. This is just between us. Uh, Me and you and YouTube. Yeah, oh, this is gonna be on YouTube. Things have been going great with writing. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be on tcdcmedia.com, friendsrunningmedia.com. Tell just say it off the record. And then yo, absolutepunk.net. Feature this shit. <laughs> Everyone's gonna know. This. Yeah, absolute punk's gonna be like. And now people are. If, if like there's one thing wrong with the next record, people are gonna. Like, well, I mean, he he did watch Lost. He caught up, <laughs> he caught up on Lost. <laughs> He started, I, I literally started season one, I, I was breaking records. <laughs> I started season one at the beginning of August. I'm in the middle of season five, I haven't started watching yet on tour, but I'm in the middle of season five, there's only six seasons. TCDCmedia.com, hang out with Nate Roos. It's been fun, man. Like, no pun intended, no pun intended, never. Um, anything you want to say to the fans?